Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Nikki No Flaw Beauty. I'm coming to you with a hair review um, on the 8A Peony Loose Wave Hair that I have installed on this full lace frontal wig that I constructed. I wanted to just review the color and um, the install and as well as the um, style that I'm wearing right now. If you are interested in that, please stay tuned. Go ahead and review the color for this hair. So, um, like I said, it's the 8A Peony we I'm sorry, Loose Wave Brazilian hair. Um, this is not the natural state of the hair. Like I said, I colored it. And the color that I used was the L'Oreal High Lift Dark Only Colors. I used three boxes of True Violet one box of red violet, two boxes of magenta. And that um, was six boxes in total and it, I wanted to saturate all of the hair to make sure it got real rich color. And um, the longest bundle, the 20 inch bundle, I did the true violet and it is a darker color. So it looks, you could tell the difference of the contrast of it. Um, it I'm 5'3", and so it hangs past my boob. All the way to about my mid stomach, stretched out, and this is where it is stretched out, all the way to the top of my butt, which is pretty long. Um, so um, I colored and sealed my wefts, um, and I constructed a full lace frontal wig, and um, I used the Got to Be Glued hair gel to secure. The lace front. I didn't use any glue, any tape, just gel, and I'm loving it so far. It's it's very secure. It's not moving. It's, it doesn't make me feel like I'm losing my edges every single time I do a new wig or a new hairstyle. So that's really nice. Um, with the hair that I did color, I did um, use 30 and 20 volume developer. I only used 20 volume on the darkest bundle. Um, because I didn't want it to get as bright as the top and then the top I used the 30 volume and I let it sit overnight so um, I pretty much left it coloring for about four hours in the evening and then left it overnight and washed it out the next morning and then um, I saw the colors and I thought that a couple of them weren't the colors that I wanted so then I bought two more boxes of magenta and one more box of true violet and colored the 14 inch bundle because I ran out of color altogether for the 14 inch bundle and then I recolored over the frontal and then um, I lightened up the bottom, um, the longest layer as well. Um, it came out perfect. It blends very well together. The contrast between the burgundy and the um, true violet is really pretty. I really like it. Um, I really, really will say that after coloring this hair twice, I didn't lose any of the hair out of the weft, which I was super surprised because I hadn't even sealed it yet. So I thought for sure I would just see so much shedding, but I didn't see any shedding from the bundles or the frontal, and they're from two different vendors. So Elva Hair and Peony Hair, y'all are doing it. I will go ahead and give that shout out to them. Um, and uh, let me just mention that I did purchase this hair with my own money. Um, it was not... I didn't get contacted by any of the vendors. I bought this hair. I'm reviewing this hair. I colored this hair. I did everything all myself. So I wanted to give you an honest opinion of the hair so you're not spending all this money on this expensive hair and it doesn't actually color or do what you want it to do. So like I said, after coloring this hair twice to get it a little bit lighter, none of the hair shattered from the weft, which I was super surprised about, and it's still super soft and super full, and I love it. Now, it is loose wave hair, so it, it does have a natural wave to it, and I will insert a natural state of the hair after rinsing it out um, the first time, and so you guys can see it, and then um, after that, after I colored it again, I didn't take another picture, and I apologize, but um, I will include, you know, the picture of the hair beforehand and then a picture of the hair right after being colored and in its natural state so you can see all of that. And then um, as far as like the installation went, I did install 
probably like two and a half bundles, maybe not even a half, and it's still really, really full. So um, the longest bundle, the 20 inch bundle, I did install most of it. This is all that I have left of the 20 inch bundle. Um, and then the 18 inch bundle, I have quite a bit of that left as well. This is the contrast between the two. This is the true violet more so, and this is more of a lighter magenta color. And then the 16 inch bundle, I used a lot of that. This is all that's left from the 16 inch bundle. And then I didn't use very much of the 14 inch bundle. There's pretty much the whole bundle of the 16 inch bundle that is left. So I will say that this hair, the bundles are really big and they did go a long way. So I mean, and I like my hair really, really big. Obviously it's big and full and I didn't even use all four bundles. So if you do order from Peony Hair, you probably even for longer lengths because I do have a 20 inch bundle in and an 18 inch bundle. And usually, usually any bundles longer than 16 inches you need four full bundles of hair to just make it all nice and full but being that i had 14 and 16 and 18 and 20 i guess that's why it's so full but i really didn't have to use all the bundles so i wouldn't recommend that you need that much it's nice to make a new wig or freshen up if it happens to shed or the wefts get loose or whatever it is that you want to do but um just to know that you don't have to use all four bundles to fill up the hair. Um, for this curl pattern, I did just wand curl it with my uh, Helen of Troy Marcel iron. I just wrapped it around it and then um, took it off. I did actually um, curl the hair on my um, new wig stand, wig block, I'm sorry. It was just drawing a blank. But my new wig block that I purchased, um, I did install the hair on a um, mesh dome cap. And um, I did pluck the hairline, though I do feel like I need to pluck it some more because it's not as natural as I wanted it to look. Um, so I'll have to go ahead and re-pluck it or whatever I need to do to make it just line up a little bit more. It's still a little too solid for me. So I'm going to go ahead in and tweeze out some more of the hairline. Um, I will insert some pictures of when I, before I tweezed it and after I tweezed the hairline, of course. I'm going to record an entire installation video so you guys can see from start to finish of how I installed the hair. And then um, I did install it on a wig block. I know it looks like a purple minion, but... <laughs> Um, it is a cloth material under here and I just felt like I didn't want to take the chance of sewing the tracks onto the, the wig block because it does have a cloth material on it. So I put this plastic on it to make it easier. Um, for beginners who have never made any wig, full wigs before, I would suggest that you go get a foam head from Sally's. They're like $4. These wig blocks are $20. One twenty-two up to like forty-five dollars. So unless you get more familiar with making wigs, then I would just start with the styrofoam um, uh, head, and then you can get one of these stands also at Sally's. Um, now, as far as like installing the hair and curling the hair and and wearing the hair and, and seeing the movement and how it is. I have actually been wearing it for, um, I installed it on Saturday. I wore it Saturday, Sunday, and today's Monday night. So it wasn't a full amount of time that I've been wearing it just to see how it is. And so far, I haven't had any problems. I really, really love the hair. Um, they're going to be a really good go-to to that I know that it's going to be really good hair. It's full. It's nice. It's pretty. It's shiny. The luster is just, it's just beautiful and it colors really nicely. So I plan on, of course, purchasing additional hair that is going to be curly and wavy and I'm just excited to try it. I'm in Charlie's straight hair as well because it, the luster is beautiful. But I did want to just show you guys a video of the hair so you can get familiar with it and just know that um, Peony hair, I definitely give it an A+. And then um, Elva for the frontal, I also give it an A+. I said, um, just so you guys can see, this hair is it's very full. It's not thin at all, and it's just all installed in my head. It's very movie. 
I love it. So, um, like I said, I really hope you enjoy this video. And again, this was just me purchasing this hair and wanting to do a review and just provide it. Provide some good, solid information on a vendor that Amazon has no reviews on. Um, but I found this vendor. I wanted to try it out. So, again, like I said, Peony Hair. This is their brand. This is their box. Pretty cheap. Um, pretty fast shipping. I use my Amazon Prime account. Um, I'm just very happy with it. I'll do a follow-up review video after I've been wearing it for a couple of days, maybe even weeks or so, but just so you guys know, and then when I straighten it and wash it and everything like that, I just want to follow up with you guys so you guys know what's going on with the hair. It's not getting a half review. No one wants to see a half review. You see the hair, you get the hair, Ooh, it's pretty out of the box, but then what? Is it good? Is it not? Well, what's happening? So I wanted to provide that to you and let you know that I like this hair. Um, I really, really love this hair. It is just, it's beautiful. So um, please subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down if you don't. Please, if you're thumbs downing my video, provide some feedback so I can do better. That's all I want to do is just provide great reviews for my following and just know that I'm dedicated to getting this information out to everybody. Um, if you have any other things that you would like to know about the hair, please comment, please contact me, um, and I am more than happy to do additional reviews and things of that nature, just so you guys know what's going on. Um, like I said, I will do a entire installation video and record that for you, and I will include the link to that video in the description box, as well as the initial review um, link as well. And then all of the products that I've used as far as like the dome caps, needle, thread, the hair type, the Marceau iron, the um, got to be glued gel, everything. Everything that I've used I will include a link to in the description box for you guys. And if I miss anything I apologize in advance, but please work with me. I'm trying to grow my following just so you guys can have some good honest reviews. Hello again YouTube. It's your girl Nikki No Flaw Beauty and I just wanted to show you the peony hair that I'm going to be coloring a true violet red violet magenta mix using 30 and 40 volume developer I just used some tablecloths from the dollar store to cover up my counter um, just so I don't say anything but I wanted to show you before and after so you know how to do everything that I am doing Stay tuned. So thank you for tuning in and until next time ladies, stay beautiful.